Elon Musk and California Governor Gavin Newsom are at it again. Their latest online feud all started when Musk retweeted a digitally altered campaign ad of Kamala Harris. The video had Harris saying she's the Democratic candidate because Joe Biden was exposed for being senile, which obviously never happened. The video now has over 130 million views. California Governor Newsom tweeted, quote, Manipulating a voice in an, quote, ad like this one should be illegal. I'll be signing a bill in a matter of a week to make sure it is. Elon then responded an inappropriate joke, to say the least, and said parody is legal in America. Others called out Musk for seemingly violating his own platform's policies. X's guidelines state you may not share synthetic, manipulated, or out-of-context media that may deceive or confuse people and lead them to harm. The video Musk shared did not have any sort of label warning that it was a parody. A Harris campaign spokesperson reacted to the parody video telling The Hill, quote, we believe the American people want the real freedom opportunity and security that Vice President Harris is offering, not the fake manipulated lies of Elon Musk and Donald Trump. Now, this latest kerfuffle comes after Elon Musk recently announced that he'd be moving his company's headquarters out of California to Texas. Musk made that decision public after Newsom signed a law that bans school districts from requiring teachers to notify parents about changes in a student's gender identity or sexual orientation without the child's permission. It also requires the state's Department of Education to develop resources for LGBTQ plus students, families starting in seventh grade. Newsom reacted to the news that Elon was leaving with this tweet saying, quote, you bent the knee, to which Elon responded, <laughs> You never get off your knees. <laughs> I think they love each other. I think there's a lot of tension there, and uh -huh. I think they secretly love each other, which I, I will say I'm only saying because everyone says that about AOC and Elon when they go at it. They love each other. Um, <laughs> look, I think we ought to be careful with actually manipulated videos that... Um, you know, this was actually manipulated. I think that should be legal and it should have just been flagged as parody. And he was wrong not to uh, indicate that in the first place. He subsequently acknowledged that it was, uh, that it was parody. Um, if it's labeled as such, I think that's a different matter. Um, I don't think, I don't want to invite new uh, bureaucrats to swoop in and write new regulations saying that what people are doing on social media is illegal. I think that could have First Amendment ramifications, but I understand why Dems were upset about it and it should just be labeled as parody consistent with Twitter's own rules going forward. I think, what I would say. Yeah, young people on X will see something like this and immediately within seconds be able to identify it's fake. That's not just because, you know, we're, we're living in the internet. The internet raised us in mm -hmm. some way. But it's also because our eyesight's a little bit better. We can see when the thing glitches. I have family members that need their glasses and hold the phone like this. They can't tell when it's fake all of the time. Their hearing's not as good. There are a lot of people who are of the age where they cannot identify if something is a deep fake or not, and these people are voters, and they can be manipulated by this. That's why it's a problem. I, I think that it makes sense that if it's AI and it's parody and it's fake, it's labeled as such. I don't think you need to label like skits and satire as parody. Right, you make skits. I make, I don't want to have to, you don't want to yeah. tell someone you're making a joke, right? It, yeah. it ruins the joke. <clears throat> and so if it's AI, it makes sense. But if it's human actors, that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just think we ought to be very careful. Um, AI is going to be a very innovative tool that could make all of our lives a lot better and easier, um, automatically generating scripts or emails and conversation, you know, it's gonna make uh, communication jobs easier. I think the last thing we wanna do is invite the current Congress with its aging members who don't <laughs> understand tech in the least bit to come in and write some law that outright criminalizes expression in this category. Uh, again, I, I think that might not stand up to First Amendment scrutiny anyway. So, and, and the idea that like, oh, I mean, you're right that older people are more easily tricked by this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. People get, tr some small number of people get tricked. They, they, actually, social science research shows us that not a lot of people are fooled by outright made up stuff mm -hmm. on social media. It's a small number of people. Mm -hmm. um, that's gonna always be the case, no matter what system you design. Uh, you can't, people are more media literate or social media literate than ever before in 
human history, and it's you know we have the democracy we have. So you can't you you if if you're if your if your operating standpoint is if there's anyone online who's going to be fooled, the whole system doesn't work. You're never going to be satisfied. There is this viral take that I think really encapsulates how I feel about AI. And it was that, why are we using AI to do creative work, to write stories and make pictures while we do our dishes and laundry and toil away and do the boring stuff and do our taxes? AI should be doing the boring administrative stuff we don't wanna do so we can make art and enjoy life. But then there's also the side of things where I, I saw a post recently that was making a similar point, but it was in reference to an article where AI was used to detect breast cancer at a very early stage. And so AI can be used for good, it can be used for evil. It's like what that whistleblower at Cambridge Analytica said of big data, that it's like a knife. You can use it to make a sandwich, you can use it to kill someone. It's all about how you use it. The thing mm -hmm. itself isn't bad. And I don't trust people like Blumenthal who asked Zuckerberg, do you commit to ending Finsta? As if this was like a subscription service. He didn't know Instagram. what it was. He did it's, not know what it was. It's people making parody accounts of themselves yeah. that they only yeah. allow their friends to follow. It's just a separate private account in addition to your public yeah. one. It's not a service they offer. And so these are the people that are gonna regulate AI. I think I'm happy John Ossoff is in the Senate. I'm happy younger people are getting elected to Congress because I do not trust our oldest members right. to tackle this issue. I also don't really think it's the government's job to protect you from your own stupidity. <laughs> like if you're getting <laughs> tricked by stuff, that's on you on some level. And some of it's funny. I've shown Robbie a lot of ones of Joe Biden that I find hilarious. It sounds like his voice. It barely sounds like it's his mouth moving, but yeah. it's him saying ridiculous things. I think it's fun, and I think our political process can be grueling, and people want some comedic relief, but to use your own website to push this yeah. is just yucky. But I mean, like, the, the thing we talked about earlier today that uh, the, for the, the, what Kamala Harris's campaign put out about J.D. Vance, you know, mm -hmm. being weird, and it was, it's not manipul, it's not, like, altered, but it's cut edited. in a way, it's mm -hmm. edited in a way that's unfavorable to him. Like, is that, that's okay, but this is not okay. Do you know what I mean? It starts to get into, I think, a very great, it's artistic expression. Mm -hmm. And again, I think labeled for the standpoint of, not the standpoint of the law, but from the standpoint of the platform's policies, they should label these kinds of things as, pla or it should be clear that this is parody, but um, you know, it's artistic expression. Yeah, I think Elon Musk- It's all Musk, just variations on the same thing. Yeah, he should play by his own rules. I don't know what this law is gonna look like from Gavin Newsom, but uh, hopefully It'll it backs up Elon's own rules. I they love each other. have to imagine <laughs> it will be bad, um, but uh, you know, more rising right after this.